deepening economic crisis. Fury boiled over on the streets today as thousands of people stormed the residence of the president and set fire to the home of the prime minister. Huge crowds enraged by the authorities' handling of the country's worst crisis in decades broke through police barricades and overwhelmed the security forces. The prime minister has agreed to resign and reports say the president will step down next week. From the capital, Colombo, our correspondent Amber Arsen Ethirajan now reports. The barricades were meant to keep the protesters back, but there were no barrier for the furious and desperate crowds, all suffering the effects of living in economic collapse. Police used the water cannon and fired shots in the air, but the crowds were more determined. And they kept surging forward until eventually they converged on the presidential palace and took over the home and office of the man they want to force from power. He had already escaped. In extraordinary scenes, on a tumultuous day for Sri Lanka, the protesters then cooled off in the president's pool. After all the privations of this country's economic crisis, clearly relishing this moment. You can just make out a four-poster bed as the crowds enjoy the inside of his home too and his bathroom. This was President Gotabaya Rajapaksha in 2020, campaigning during parliamentary elections. His family are accused by many of catastrophic economic mismanagement. Protests have been going on for weeks, but today marks a dramatic escalation. We must chase them. They must go. It's time for us to think of the country. We have children. We are on the streets, leaving our jobs because we believe in the cause. As the protests continue, Sri Lankans don't know where the president even is. Though one report says he is being protected by the island country's navy. It has been announced by parliament speaker he will step down by Wednesday. And this is said to be the Prime Minister's private residence. It was set on fire, even though he had earlier offered to resign. After a day of chaos, fury and confusion, the anti-government protesters here, they are celebrating the announcement of the planned resignations of President Gotabaya Rajapaksha and Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe. And these protesters, they want a new beginning for Sri Lanka, a new political culture, so that they will not face the similar economic crisis in this country. Anbara Satirajan, BBC News, Colombo.